Hey y'all, what's up, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Today's look is celebrity inspired by Trinity Fatu. She is a WWE wrestler, also known as Naomi. She, she's my girl crush, okay? There, I said it. She is so athletic and so strong and so beautiful. And from what I, from what I can tell on TV, on the rally TV show, she seems like just like a really, really just cool down to earth girl. So I was on Instagram and I saw this picture and I was like, and this look is super super simple I think that's why I like it it's not anything innovative but I think I just like the combination of the smoky eye with the popping red lip this is the Fenty um, stunner lip paint and I was like you know what let me do this it's a good look for holidays like if you have a party to go to and you want to get super super glam and dramatic this is a good look for you alright so let's go ahead and get into it alright so taking this Farsali unicorn essence again <laughs> Still not sure what this does, <laughs> but I'm using it just so that way I can at least come up with a conclusion, a review for you guys. I've been using it for two weeks now. Then we're gonna go in with some concealer. We are actually testing out the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. Um, I'm gonna wear, I like to do a wear test. So I actually wear things for a week and then get back to you guys and let you know how it is. So I already did this eye. I wonder if, no, I have to set it. It's the under eye. We got to set it. All right, so concealer is on. Next up, we're going to do some cream on the face. Let's set with Sasha Buttercup Powder. And she doesn't look super, super contoured. She typically doesn't. So we're just gonna do a little, little bit of shadowing with some powder. Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, Tan to Deep. I'm using this shade right here. It doesn't look like it is deep enough, but I tested it out and I was pleasantly surprised that it is. I like it because it's a little bit more it's on the warmer side versus cooler, and there is no shimmer in it. My, not my Sasha, my CoverGirl and Shea Moisture, they both have shimmer in them. And this is like currently $20 at Ulta right now, and I figured I can try it, and if it didn't work out for me, I could still use it for my client kit, so no money lost there, but I was shocked. It, it works pretty 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 good yeah it's not too cool no shimmer I like it then taking this light shade here to highlight the center and just for kicks and giggles let's put a little bit on up under does this have shimmer in it ooh I just sabotaged myself this does have shimmer in it Oh, 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 abort, 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 abort. <laughs> Her face makeup is really, really natural, actually. It's just more so the eye and the lip that's dramatic. So we're just gonna put on a neutral tone blush here. You can never go wrong with wet and wild, mellow wine. And I don't see any highlighter on her, thank God. <laughs> Y'all know how I am with highlighter. Not the biggest fan. All right, eyes already primed. Trinity definitely has a way more lid space than I do. She's got like the perfect set eye for this look, but this is what we're looking at. This is the eye look. It's super, super simple. There's nothing to it, and I think that's why I like it so much. So I just think the combination of this with the lips, mwah, yes, perfect. First thing we're going to do is we're gonna we, I'm gonna use my Tartlet and Bloom palette, but it does not have any brown. Since we're using black, I like to lay down a brown. So I'm just grabbing my Sonia Kushik neutral eyeshadow palette here. And the first shade that we're gonna go in with is this mauvey tone, not mauvey tone, why did I say mauve? It's this taupey tone brown here. And I'm going to put it on a Morphe M441. And this is the shade here. I 
and I'm basically just putting this into my crease and I'm gonna start sketching out the shape that I want so in my crease and then down here in my outer V and I'm not taking this brown all the way in take it about three-fourths in and something else that I like to do is take an angled brush and I'm gonna go ahead and start mapping out that angle on the outer V of my eye here. That way we don't go too far out. Something else that I like to do is after I get my line here, I'll just kind of leave my eye open and just lightly sketch. So that way I don't go too high and I know exactly where to put my darker colors at. Because sometimes if I do it, I'll come too low. And when I open my eye, you can't see it. So just a nice little way to sketch out. So that way you know what you're doing. Blending that out. Then I'm going to go ahead and go in with this kind of like peachy neutral tone here. And this is just going to go up under my brow bone. And everything that I'm using right now is matte. Next, we're going to go to the next deepest brown shade here, the one with the hole in it. And let's grab a tighter brush. We're going to use a MAC 217. And I'm just going to start pressing that in. Just dabbing that on, pressing it. Then I'm going to take switch over to a MAC 224 and blend that out. I'm going to start sweeping some of this brown on my lid, go about halfway because that's how far we're going to go with the darker colors. All right, switching over to Tartlet and Bloom. We're going to go with Smoke Show here. That is this shade right here. And I've got a MAC 217. And I'm just going to start pressing this on where I want it. and then blending it out. Then going back to the angled brush with the darkest color. Put that on the outer corner. Then just start flicking it out. You can never go wrong with following the natural eye shape of your eye. Pull that out just a little bit more. I'm just kind of sketching out my eye shape again. See, it's tricky because this eye is a little bit droopier than my other eye. And if you get sloppy on the outside, like I got a little messy there, don't worry about that. We'll pick that, we'll clean that up. Okay, let's pick up some translucent powder. I've got this Morphe contour brush here. It's an angled brush, E16, and I'm just going to drop that right in here. And I'm going to put this right on the outside of my eye, and basically we're going to bake it, and this is just going to clean it up. So that way we have that nice, sharp outer V that she has. All right, now I'm just going to sweep away. So I kind of took it a little too far out. So basically what I'm going to do, so since I took it too far out and the brush touched my hair and smeared on my eye, another way to clean up, boom. This way is better if you have not already done any foundation like I have already done. Okay, then we're just going to let that dry up here for a second. While that's drying, let's go ahead and go to the center part of the lid. Taking the color Rocker, it's just silver tone. I don't typically go with cool silver tones on my eyelid. And right here, press this all on my lid. And then taking a MAC 224 and just blending that on over. Blending the darker color and the glitter together. Okay, 
then just to clean up over here, I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and we're just gonna dab around. All right, next up, we gotta put on some liner. We're winging it out. So I can't do liner on camera and stay in focus, but something I did want to make known that I did that I don't typically do. So I took it in the inner tear duct here, obviously, and it goes all the way across, but I kind of brought it out a little bit further here and brought it down and connected it just to kind of give it more of that elongated sultry kind of eye all right so let me do that really quick pop on my lashes and then we'll be right back all righty so i've got my eye makeup on the last step that i need to do is just smoke out my lash line i got my lashes the lashes that i'm using are the andrea 21 lashes and i winged out my liner and now we're just going to smoke it out using that same angled brush and just make sure that the outer corner here connects with the wing There we go. And then last but not least, star of the show. We gotta put lipstick on. We're gonna use the Fenty Beauty Stunner Lipstick in Uncensored. All right, so this Fenty lip paint I would recommend, typically with liquid lipsticks, you would outline your lips first, then fill in. I say start in the center first and kind of rub your lips together because it is a little bit more of a watery formula, so it will kind of expand and move up on you. So if you start on the outside, it might kind of go further over your lip line. So something to be aware of. All right, so let me just finish up with my hair and we'll wrap it up. All right, guys, I am all finished. This is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this look. Like I said, this look is super, super simple, but I just love the way that it looks. I love the bold red lip with the dark eyes. Love it. So drop down below if there's anything else that you would like to see. Are there any other celebrity looks or just any looks in general that you're inspired by, that you're thinking of doing this holiday? Let me know down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.